Sink here, sink right here. Hi there, everybody. It is time for Read Rants. We are doing the film review for this week. It's a little late. I'll tell you why later. But we are going to review the movie Mowgli, Legend of the Jungle. So stay right there. We'll be right back. Thank you for sticking with us. Hold on, let me get my glasses on right here. Thank you for sticking with us. It is back to business, sort of, not quite, almost. First of all, let me thank all of you for tuning in, downloading, listening, taking time out of your day to hear what is going on with the movie review and anything else I post up that you listen to. We are a little late this week because lovely yesterday was a long day at work and I ended up with a beautiful migraine and had to go to bed early with pain. Love that. So I am making up for it and we are going to do a double dose this weekend and get things posted up and get back on schedule. So let's go ahead and get to it. Mowgli, Legend of the Jungle is a 2018 PG-13 film. It is one hour and 44 minutes long. IMDb gives it 6.6 out of 10. It is listed as an adventure drama fantasy. And it gets 52% Rotten Tomatoes. The tomato meter lists it as an action-adventure animation and fantasy. It is starring Christian Bale. Kate Blanchett, Benedict Benedict Cumberbach, and directed by Andy Serkis, Rick, gosh, I hope that I'm saying that right, Serkis, Serkis, huh, and written by Callie Cloves. First of all, let me give a little disclaimer. My head is not in a really good place right now. I ended up having to take a break for the holiday, and it wasn't so much like a good break. And the migraines are up again, so it's been a little bit difficult for me. I take a lot of the migraine pills, which it messes with the way I think a little bit. So it's going to be a little bit of a dark review, but maybe appropriate since this movie was stinking dark. It is not something I would recommend for kids, even teenagers. Definitely warrants the PG-13 label, and I don't know that any young teenagers would actually want to see this movie. It shows the ugly underbelly of our relationships, and yes, there are various species of animals interacting with the kid that was left in the jungle because his mom got killed by Shere Khan. Oh yeah, there's spoilers in this one, apparently. And wolves raised him. The interactions are human interactions that there would be in some high school when you think about movies like Mean Girls and Char not Charmed, what is the witchcraft movie? The Craft and stuff like that where kids are picking on other kids and not only are they picking on other kids, they're being super mean, super mean. This movie to me is not something I'd want to watch and spend a couple hours on because when I go to the movies, I want to be entertained. And yes, dramas can be entertaining, but I don't want to see people mauled. I don't want to see how people or animals, the characters, let's say the characters, I don't want to see how the characters are killing each other or being mean to each other. I don't like the lessons that seem to be subliminally conveyed in this movie where it's okay to get revenge, where it's okay to mistreat others. I don't care for this movie and I would not recommend it. It has been a few weeks since I watched this movie and those are the things that stick out in my head the most. I did re-watch the trailer and it's a little misleading. The trailer shows clips and it takes them out of context. It shows something that is a more family friendly or more fun movie than this actually is. I would say that this bends the scales to darkness and gruesomeness and how ugly 
life can be, which is probably one of the reasons why I didn't really care for it. I have listed a few links of other reviews, Rotten Tomatoes, IMDb, and I've also started listing Roger Ebert, his reviews for movies, because especially on this one, first of all, Roger Ebert is a great veteran, and I remember back when he was doing Siskel and Ebert, but when you read his reviews, they're very insightful, they're very informative and detailed. As far as this movie is concerned, I am on the same page with him. There are several points that he makes that I wholeheartedly agree with. So the bottom line for this movie, as far as my review and my recommendation, is I wouldn't watch it. If you like stuff that is beat them up, tear them up, people killing each other, characters killing each other, sure, watch it. I would say that this is more of an adult fantasy. However, certain other critics felt, or at least one other critic, felt that not only is this movie not good for kids because it's PG-13, it's not good for teenagers, and it's too boring for adults. So where does that leave this movie? Well, plenty of people liked it. Plenty of people thought it was great, but most of the kudos for this movie, when I was reading the reviews, was about how the CGI was, how the incarnation of the Jungle Book was a little bit different, and they, a lot of people felt, and a lot of people felt that it was more true to the original writing of Jungle Book. I don't know about that because I'd never read the original book. But the bottom line is, this did not blow my skirt up. In fact, I would not recommend this movie. In fact, it was just not something for me. That's all I've got for this week. I am working hard on getting back on schedule and I'm going to work some things to see if we can do that a little bit better and work on maybe batch processing. I do thank you for your time. Thank you for downloading. Thank you for basically just being you and being out there. And if you want to reach out to me, please feel free to do so. My email address is read at fastmail.com. Our home on the web is readrants.com. And you can follow on Facebook and Twitter at Read Rants. We've got some exclusive content available on Patreon, which I still need to update that. That's pretty much it for today, and that's all I've got. Until we speak again, take care of you, everybody. Read Rants, signing off.